Have you been discouraged by some of the things that have been happening around you? Whether it's things in your family, whether it's in your business, in your workplace, in your country, in politics, there are so many things that are there that can discourage us. There are many things also that can make us sad. The psalmist David found himself discouraged and, uh, and, and sad. As a matter of fact, when you read Psalm chapter number 42 and chapter number 43, David repeats these words in verse number 5 of chapter 42, and he asks himself, why am I so discouraged? Why is my heart so sad? And he repeats the same words again in verse number 11. He says, why am I discouraged? Why is my heart so sad? If you jump over to chapter number 43 and verse 5, he asks the same question again, why am I discouraged and why is my heart so sad? But I like the fact that David did not stop at asking himself those questions. He was only appreciating that he is human and that because of our nature as human beings, we tend to be discouraged, we tend to be sad by what is happening around us. But I also appreciate that the psalmist in these particular verses, he continues by giving us a prescription for our sadness, a prescription for our discouragement. And he says, he repeats again three times, he says, I will put my hope in God. I will praise him again, my Savior and my God. And he repeats that in the same verses again in verse number 11 and verse number 5 of chapter 43. He says, I will put my hope in God and I will praise him again. Friends, as you watch this message, I know that you may be discouraged. I know you may be in circumstances that are making you sad. But I in invite you to the prescription that David has offered to us. That first, you will have your hope in God. That you will understand no matter the circumstances that you are in today, you believe in a God, you trust in a God who is able to get you out of that situation that you are in. But secondly, David invites us to praise God, not because of the circumstances that we are in, but in anticipation that he has heard our prayer, that he has heard our cry, and that he's planning to rescue us from the situation that we are in. So whatever situations, circumstances that you find yourself in, I want to leave you with a message of hope. That message is put your trust in God. Believe in Him and trust that He's going to come through for you. And in appreciation that He's going to do what He has promised to do in His Word, I ask you to start praising Him and appreciating that He has already done it, even as you continue to wait for the manifestation of His works in your life. God bless you, have a great week ahead, and continue trusting the Lord to come through in your situations and circumstances.